terminar. One minute. Continue. Just my recording. Yes. Now we are recording. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, during um, seminar, because I, I'm going to share it, okay? Uh, it's very important that, for example, one person ask, you know, uh, it is very important that I, after the seminar, I would like 30 minutes or 35 minutes, I uh, give you a summary about the growing suffering indoors. At the 20 minutes of, at the end of this seminar, it's very important. I would like all things in your mind about the growing suffering indoors. For example, in the chat, in a video call, ask me, you know, it is very important, these questions. And I'm going to share it and numerous people, all people that live across the world, see this video, this seminar, okay? okay. Because in LinkedIn, 10 minutes, okay. One thing, with all my respect, we have one hour window, right? So after okay. you finish your seminar, we will have like 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how much you give a talk. So depending on that, we will get the questions. So one hour window. Agree, agree. Okay, no problem. That makes sense. Doctor, okay. Would you like a start? Yes. Let me start, introduce you. Just one. I have kind of hard time to pronounce your name. If I'm wrong, please correct me. So, okay. ladies and gentlemen, I let me introduce a guest. His name is Ardalan Tilabida. Is that correct? Thank you. He is a doctor in agricultural technology, and now he is a senior agricultural consultant at Agriculture and National Resources Engineering Organization of Tehran the province in Iran. He will talk about how to grow suffering in vertical insulation. Let's give a big hand. Thank you. It's your turn now. Thank you, Professor. It's my pleasure that for Korean students, Korean masters, Korean universities, I'm giving a seminar on growing saffron indoors. It's my pleasure. Professor Saffron is right now is a general topic, not especially for agriculture. Nowadays, every person, every merchant, they are speaking about saffron. You know, saffron is the number one in the agricultural crops. You know, at the first, I would like to speak about the vertical farming, Professor. All the students, all person that love and like, would like that start this process, I mean growing saffron indoors, they should know about the vertical farming. Without knowledge of uh, vertical farming, of the equipment, you know, 90% of 80% of the majority of things and points of the vertical farming is the same. When you learn, Professor, when you learn of the knowledge of the vertical farming, you will be able to start button mushroom, hydroponic fodder, leech farming, microgreen, all. This is very important this time. I would like to hear 20 minutes to speak about vertical farming, 20 minutes about the growing saffron indoors, and 15 minutes if you're a student and other people, uh, I'm completely ready to answer your questions. That about vertical farming. Recently, I um, continually told you about the vertical farming, but today, the most important in the vertical farming, when we say vertical farming, I mean completely covered environment. For example, in South Korea, Dr. Yoon, you are going to start. You need to, the building, the building completely covered, you know? You need to, for example, you are uh, talking with me in a building, in a, your students, the campus of your, in your university, you need to environment completely covered. For growing saffron indoors also, we need to environment. The specifications of the building is very important. Cement, for example, the materials of the roof, the material of the ceiling, the material of the wall, is so important. You should insulate the all 
as the all aspects of your environment with panel. Panel is the most important of the part of the building of the growing saffron indoors. Insulate because you should keep the temperature. But you know, for example, in South Korea have an average weather, but it is so important that care. For example, in uh, for example, in summer, sometime air handling unit, for example, run. Your insulation help you for controlling temperature. So we should for starting the environment with 60 square meters. My recommend, recommendation to your student, to your professor, to other people that live for the starting a start with 60 square meters environment. It is better the shape of the the shape of the environment that we choose for a starting of growing saffron indoors should be rectangular shape, you know, rectangular shape. shape. For example, in is my book, you know, is a rectangular shape. Is the, for example, this is the building. This is width, length, five by 12 meters. Therefore, we have 60 square meters, rectangular shape. For example, is the building in the environment width, five and the length is 12 meters, five by 12 meters, 60 square meters. In 60 square meter for professor, for example, in your country, in your university, you can purchase 6,000 kilogram of bulbs, 6,000 kilogram of bulbs. Okay. But in the growing saffron indoors, the most important thing in company, because the Saffron is a traditional crop, is a traditional crop, is the outdoor crop. And during these days, we transport the bulb to the environment. Therefore, the control of environmental factors is so important and completely different with outdoors. Therefore, at the first step, we should provide the air handling unit. Air handling unit, boiler, chiller, and all things related to air, temperature, humidity. In Iran and different countries that are active in agriculture, in vertical farming, we have an air handling unit that with a plus the boiler and chiller, we can easily control the temperature, humidity, and carbon dioxide with air handling unit, or in some country known as air conditioner, air handling unit. <clears throat> with air handling unit, that at the first step, after providing, after providing the building, you should purchase the air handling unit. And every country you can easily purchase air handling unit. And I will see you. I will uh, show you the picture of the air handling unit. After air handling unit and boiler and chiller, for example, in the winter, at the tip, uh, in winter that the temperature decreased to minus eight, minus nine, you need to boiler. What is the task of the boiler? Boiler warm water and warm water transported to the air conditioner and air conditioner converted the warm water to warm air. And because in saffron, growing saffron indoors in button mushroom or any agricultural activities, we need to warm air, we need to air, suitable air, not water, you know? And also in summer, for example, in the summer in the South Korea is very hot. For example, we need a chiller. In summer, chiller works, in the winter, boiler works. Both of them connected to the air handling unit. Air handling unit as a cooling coil, heating coil, and provide the temperature. After purchasing the air handling unit, after purchasing air handling unit and boiler and chiller, we need to, the shelves. We need to shelves. The material of the shelves is iron, aluminum, Aluminium is the uh, most important material in the art because this is my book and I'm finding, I would like that show you in the, my book. And in the mm, growing saffron indoors, in vertical farming, we have air handling unit, boiler, chiller, shelves, 
and wooden boxes. You know, I told you 10 minutes ago in 60 square meters, we can keep, we can purchase 6,000 kilograms of, uh, 4,000 kilograms of bulbs, for example. For 60 square meters, we can keep the bulb 4,000 kilograms. For example, Professor Young, Ardalan, I provided the environment for starting growing saffron in South Korea. Okay, how much bulbs I should uh, purchase? I will tell you 4,000 kilograms of bulbs, four tons of bulbs you can keep with the shelves, one floor, two floor, with five, with five floor of the shelves, you can easily keep the 4,000 kilogram of bulbs with wooden boxes. You need to do wooden boxes. Each wooden boxes, you can keep five kilogram of bulbs. We need to 600 wooden boxes, 700 wooden boxes, 500. I think for 60 square meters, we need to around 700 wooden boxes, 700 around 800 wooden boxes, 600 wooden boxes, it's depending on your, uh, the dimension of the wooden boxes is 40 by 60 centimeters. The high is the wooden boxes is four centimeters. For example, in the wooden boxes, for example, is, for example, is wooden boxes. In the, on the shelves, 60 centimeters, 40 centimeters, and it uh, keeps in this, on the shelves, and the wooden boxes, one wooden box and 40 by 60 centimeters, we can keep five kilogram, each wooden boxes, five kilogram of bulbs. And finally, for 60 square meters, we can keep 4,000 kilogram of bulbs with five fellow. We have two row of shelves. We have two row of shelves and wooden boxes, air handling unit, and CO, uh, Professor Young is the temperature, humidity, light, and the amount of carbon dioxide are so important for reaching the best crops in saffron. For example, right now, now that I'm giving a seminar in South in Korean University, the best time for purchasing the bulbs, professor. Right now, exactly. At the end of June, at the beginning of the July, the best time for purchasing the bulbs, without doubt. You know that this is the time of purchasing. You should one week before the purchasing, you should order the bulbs. The best country for Iran, but from Iran is prevented, you know, is illegal. Exporting the bulbs from Iran is completely illegal and you should find to another country for purchasing. The bulbs are very clear and uh, the most important part. Before the purchasing the bulbs, you should measure the temperature, the humidity, light, carbon dioxide. Therefore, before that, you should purchase the thermometers, CO2 meters, lux meters, and humidifying machine or humidity meters that show you the humidity of the room, the temperature of the room. Dr. Jung, I would like to tell you, you know, and uh, what is the name of the, uh, the friends in the here, Mr. I would like that know your name. No, you can just call me out. Okay, okay, okay. Professor, we need to, for example, for measuring the light and carbon dioxide, light and carbon dioxide, it doesn't need pay money. We can easily control for two windows. For example, one window for lights and another window for controlling of temperature. temperature. You know, it doesn't need. Also for humidifying system, it's, it doesn't need, for example, air handling unit, for example, the boiler, chiller, you know. We have four factors, professor, doctor. Four factors, humidity, carbon dioxide, light, temperature. 
three of four factors we can easily control with knowledge. We should have the knowledge with knowledge and window and without purchasing a special machine, but temperature that is very important in growing saffron indoors in flowering and the quality of saffron, we need to air handling unit, as I told you 10 minutes ago, air handling unit, boiler, chiller. Three of these machines that I told you are so important in controlling of temperature and is, are expensive and we should spend money for temperature, okay? Okay. It, do, it doesn't mean that three factors are not so important because it doesn't need to spend money, you know? Also three factors also so important, but for controlling temperature, we should spend money. For three factors, it doesn't need to spend money. And with, my, with our knowledge, with, with a little change, we can provide the amount of the carbon dioxide, the amount of the light, okay? Okay. There, there are questions how we can control and how we can measure. For measuring, I told you, lux meters uh, the, show us the amount of the light, thermometers show us the amount of the temperature and the humidity meters show us the amount of humidity and the CO2 meters show us the amount of the carbon dioxide. As I told you, in right now, for example, in June and July, you purchase the bulbs. After that, you should provide the suitable temperature. For example, Professor Jung, Ardalan, what temperature? The temperature after purchasing the June or July, during two months, during two or three months, you should keep the temperature 25 centigrade without light, without control of the carbon dioxide and without humidity, just 25 centigrade. Humidity is around 60, 65% and without light and the carbon dioxide is around three or 4,000 PPM, 4,000 PPM, finish. You know, uh, when I told you, for example, that carbon dioxide is 4,000 PPM without light, and the humidity 60%, it means that it doesn't need to control for the machine, for a special machine, just temperature, okay? okay. You, you, you can think, I do not anything about the carbon dioxide, I do not anything about the light, I do not anything about humidity, just temperature, 25 centigrade, finish without light, in the wooden boxes, on the shelves. The first task is the keeping temperature, and you do not you do not allow the temperature for fluctu temperature fluctuation. For example, two centigrade raise, two centigrade decrease, three centigrade decrease. Okay, it is so important the keeping the temperature in twenty five centigrade. Now, for example, you're a student, uh, Doctor Young. For example, the one increase increase. Okay, not for example, with twenty six centigrade is also no problem. 24 centigrade, but for example, 70 centigrade, 17 centigrade, over 30 gram, over 30 centigrade, there are all things wrong. It's the damages. Easily two to three months. What? Did you say two to three months? The time span. Two months, two months, you know, for example, in the two months, in the two months or three months. In the summer, you know, during summer. I mean. For example, in, uh, during this time, when weather hot, at the beginning of the autumn, all factors should be changed, you know? But during summer, just the factors you should control, temperature, 25 centigrade, okay? In the wooden boxes and air handling unit, for example, for controlling of works, for controlling of temperature, you know? Without humidity, without giving any humidity, without any irrigation, without uh, any control of the carbon dioxide. All windows are closed, you know? Let's repeat for one minute. We should provide environment with rectangular shape of the environment. The height of the environment is better, uh, four meters, 
width is 5 meters, length is 12 meters, and the material of the wall is the cement. And after uh, providing the environment, we should provide the shelves, two row of shelves for 60 square meters for uh, manufacturing the shelves. We need to around 1,000 kilogram of iron for building, for constructing, for manufacturing the shelves. Two row of shelves. Two row of shelves. This is one my page of uh, this is one my page of the, my book. For example, as you can see, one row, one row, yes, one row of shelves and one row of shelves. For example, four floors, one side of the shelves and four floors, another side. There are questions. Ardalan. I'm going to start with sixth floor. You know, I would like that the keeping many numerous bulbs of saffron. For example, instead of 4,000 kilogram bulbs, I would like with sixth floor, I would like 10,000 kilogram of bulbs. I will tell you, this is a big rank. You know, <laughs> it is a big rank. It is not the match game. This is the Olympics game. This is not record, you know. We shouldn't record any, for example, for number. It is not art. It is not good, for example, for recording every, for example, is 60 square meter. Ardalan, I keep 10,000 kilograms. It is big run because all the above, exactly like a person, inspiration and the, high, the increase the amount of carbon dioxide. And when I told you for 60 square meters, 4,000 kilograms, it's enough. Decreasing, for example, the decreasing of the number of the bulb, it, it's not so important just for the, for example, is the, the density is low, for example, just. But when increase, this is the very big run in controlling on environmental factors. And it is very hard, the control of the environmental factors like temperature, humidity, okay? Therefore, just for 60 square meter, just four fellows and with 4,000 kilogram of bulb. This is not good. This is not art of you. For example, the keeping over 4,000 kilograms, for example, with six fellows, for seven fellows. For example, for button mushroom, six fellows is okay. For saffron, growing saffron indoors, four fellows is okay. good. For example, because this bulbs of saffron then uh, produce the amount of the carbon dioxide, okay? Okay. We have in vertical farming for growing saffron indoors, environment, the shelves, air handling unit, and the thermometers, lux meters, wooden boxes. Wooden boxes. At the beginning of the autumn, when the summer is finished, for example, in Iran, October is the month of the October or at the end of September is the sign of the autumn, for example, in other countries. You shouldn't look to the months. You should look to the season. For example, in Australia right now in the autumn and it's in the winter and it's not suitable time for purchasing the bulbs. Okay, you shoot the season. For example, in October, in some, in many countries is the uh, autumn and many countries in the autumn in some country is the winter okay in at the beginning of the autumn or fall you should change the temperature okay bulbs in the wooden boxes experience the 25 of 25 centigrade and at the beginning of uh, the autumn or at the end of the september in iran for example at the end of summer or at the beginning of the autumn you should change the temperature to 20 centigrade, okay? In the summer was 25 centigrade. In the autumn, you should change temperature to 25 centigrade. Humidity is around 75%. And the amount light is over, you should provide over 1,500 looks. 
and the amount of the carbon dioxide is 700 ppm. You know, all things are changed. All things are changed. Because in summer, I told you for storing the wood and keeping the bulbs in the summer, just 25 centigrade without light, without the carbon dioxide, amount of the carbon dioxide, without the humidity, but is the autumn are so important, okay? Temperature 20 centigrade, the amount of the light is over 1,500 lux, humidity is around 75%, okay, with light. The amount of the carbon dioxide, 700 or 800 ppm. Dr. Yun, in saffron, unlike the other plants, in the summer asleep, in the spring and summer, the bulbs of saffron are asleep. In the autumn and winter, awake and are alive, you know? For example, in the spring, uh, the sound of the bears, the green of the grass, you know, all things is green in the summer, spring, okay? But the saffron is completely different other plants. The major, the 95% of the plants in the spring and summer is alive, yes? Yes? Understood. My question. In the spring and in the summer, all things is green. All things, because the temperature is high, but the saffron is completely different. In summer, asleep. Also in outdoors. In the outdoor saffron is in the, at the beginning of the autumn is alive and gradually the, the leaves and the roots gradually will be appear at the beginning of autumn, okay? Therefore, okay. The bulbs of saffron When we keep the temperature to 25 centigrade, after two weeks, okay? Ma'am, you peel the same here, you peel. After two weeks of the changing of the temperature, when we keep at the beginning of autumn the 25 centigrade, okay? Right now, the temperature is 20 centigrade, humidity and 75%. The buds or sprouts gradually will be appear. The bud. What is the meaning of the bud? A sprout. You know, I think the part of, for example, okay, can you see? Yes. For example, it's onion. It's not bud because you know, this is the bulbs, roots, and the impetus bulbs. And this is the wooden boxes. Yes. Okay. This is the wooden boxes and the bulbs of saffron. During summer, this is exactly like this shape during summer, without leaves, without roots, because the bulbs of saffron are asleep, okay? But in the, at the beginning of the autumn, when you decrease the temperature, when you increase the amount of the light, this is name of the bud or sprouts. Okay, gradually appear. Okay, this is 10 centimeters. Okay, 10 centimeters, for example, it's four centimeters. Okay. okay, when you reach to 10 centimeters, I told you when reach the 10 centimeters, these buds, okay, your task is giving cold shocking. Cold shocking. Temperature is 10 centigrade during three days. Other factors like the humidity also is 75%. Carbon dioxide is also 700 ppm. And the light is also over 1,500 lux light. Just you should change the temperature cold shocking. After three days, okay. After three Repeat. days of the, after three days. During three days, we need to cold shocking, okay? Cold shocking. After three days, you should back the temperature to seventeen 
centigrade. 17 centigrade. 17 centigrade. Humidity is 85%. You know, 85%. Humidity, 85%. The light is also over 1,000, over 1,500 lux, and CO2 is 700 ppm. Humidity is also 85%, okay? Professor, one week or 10 days after cold shocking, after kicking, keeping the temperature in 17 centigrade, the flowers of the bulbs gradually will be appear. Finish. In the my tank, in the words is simple, but in the act, you should provide the best shelf, the best air handling unit. You should insulate, okay? And during two weeks, you can harvest. You have harvesting time during two weeks. Just once time, and during two weeks of the October gives you the flower, saffron, the barbs of saffron, during two weeks. Each 1,000 kilogram of bulbs gives you around one and a half kilogram sargol or dried saffron. Each 1,000 kilogram of saffron, okay? Each 1,000 kilogram of saffron. One and a half. If you have the great fertilizer, if you have the great agricultural program, if you have the great knowledge, you should harvest from 1,000 kilogram of above two kilogram dry saffron. You know, I mean the business sector that you uh, purchase in the market for kitchen for your home, you know? Therefore, you should know some uh, scientific science and some up, um, feasible sentence about the growing saffron. 70 kilogram of the fresh flowers gives you one kilogram dry saffron. 70 kilogram, I mean after harvesting with the petal and the stigma, this name known as in Iran, fresh flower, you know, wet flower. Every 70 kilogram of the wet flower or fresh flower gives you, after separating, after drying, gives you around one or two kilogram of the dry saffron. Okay, 1,000 kilogram, 1,000 kilogram of bulbs gives you around 70 kilogram wet bulb, wet flower. 70 kilogram wet flower or one and a half kilogram dry flower. Now, the question, how we can control the light of the carbon dioxide? At the end of the building, at the end of winding, we have two window. One, the window at the top is for control of the looks light. During summer, I told you we do not need any light, yes? Completely closed, yes? Because with opening window, the sunrise penetrate and enter the my room, okay? Therefore, I told you, uh, uh, we do not any need to light, okay? During summer, we have two window at the end of the building. During summer, two, both of them completely closed. The window at the top is for the controlling of the looks and the window at the bottom is for the control of carbon dioxide. When the windows are closed, we do not have any need, any light, and carbon dioxide is the amount of the carbon dioxide is around three thousand ppm automatically is high. Okay, therefore, but I told you at the end, at the beginning of the autumn, it is very important the amount of the carbon dioxide, the light. Okay, okay, it is easily because I told you. It doesn't need to spend money and it's not so expensive, the control of the carbon dioxide and, okay? With opening the window for at the top for looks like and the window for the bottom, you easily 
the amount of the carbon dioxide decreased to 700 ppm because with window and working the air handling unit, both of them decrease the amount of your carbon dioxide and the temperature. Professor, bear in mind, Professor, the temperature in 17 centigrade, temperature of 17 centigrade, carbon dioxide with amount of 700 ppm and the light over 1000 lux or over 1500 gives you saffron, okay? For example, in your home, try, try. For example, today purchased one bulb, okay? In the, keep during summer, keep it during summer, keep it in two months, and in the autumn, purchase a bulb and gives, gives it 17 centigrade, but the fresh air, the flowers gradually will be appear. This is the story of saffron. CO2 is 700 ppm, temperature 17 centigrade, humidity 85%. Professor, during summer, during autumn, during flowering, it doesn't need giving any fertilizer. It doesn't need any irrigation. Okay, just controlling environmental factors. Don't confuse yourself, for example, with hydroponic system, aeroponic, NFT, you know, with cocoa pit. Don't confuse without cocoa pit, without perlite, without NFT system. These systems damages to the bulbs. After harvesting of the flowers, there are where I sh should keep the bulb. Okay, my recommendation replace to the outdoor. If you do not have access to the outdoor land, okay, you can keep in the wooden boxes with the mix of the soil and vermiculite. Hydroponic system not, growing saffron indoors, growing saffron greenhouse, you know? Hydroponic system is for tomato, is for cucumber, strawberry. Saffron is unlocked to other plants, you know? Don't confuse with your system with aeroponic, hydroponic system. You know, the, because the bulbs, you know, this is the heavy, this is, very sensitive to fungal diseases, very sensitive to the mites, very sensitive to other diseases, and needs to soil for cooping, for keeping and preventing all fungal diseases, I virus, okay? And it's very sensitive to a little raising humidity. Just after, you know, before harvesting, during harvesting, we do not need any soil. We do not need the, any, so after harvesting, I mean, after harvesting the flowers or at the beginning of winter, okay? We do not need any before. After we need to soil because soil has a natural microorganism, has a trace element, you know, manganese, like the sulfate, sulfurous, but this with hydroponics system, even with the special stock, for example, in the scientists in hydroponic, Okay, we will provide the stock special for bulbs. You know, hydroponic is good. Unfortunately, some people think hydroponic is, is the sign of the modern. Hydroponic is a method. Soil greenhouse is a method, not is the modern. For example, take the hydroponic, it doesn't miss technology. Unfortunately, some people, hydroponic is technology. Hydroponic is a method. Some people think, for example, for cucumber, for uh, greenhouse crops, for example, soil greenhouse is a traditional and hydroponic is modern and it's technology. not. It is very big round. This is the hydroponic is the, okay, is the, for example, the fertilizing, this is the knowledge, is the technology. The giving, for example, the, uh, the new way of the harvesting of, uh, giving the fertilizer or harvesting the greenhouse crop is technology, but it is the big run that you use, for example, the cocoa peat or perlite, because the cocoa peat or perlite is, is a natural, is, is a neutral, neutral uh, bed, and they cannot provide for you the trace element, the microorganisms, that the other, and also the soil is keep exactly like a building, keep for fungal diseases, for humidity. But you should 
uh, for example, uh, mm, remember in your mind and think with yourself, for example, the without soil, okay? It is very sensitive with cocoa peat, perlite, it, they are, they cannot only provide and preventing to fungal diseases. And easily with even one, for example, the water, one, the one part of the water easily damages the ball. Sometimes in one hour or 30 minutes for 6,000 kilograms of bulbs of you, for example, 6,000 kilograms of your bulbs, in the one hour completely destroyed, okay? But souls, its story is completely different. It is the, even with the high temperature fluctuation with the cold, you know, because in some summer, but in the completely covered, because it's a very dangerous act, you know, growing saffron indoors is the uh, risky work and we shouldn't allow, we shouldn't allow hazardous, uh, provide hazardous situation for bulbs with hydroponic, with aeroponic. Soil is the best. After my recommendation, after harvesting, replace the bulbs in the soil. If you do not have access to the outdoor, okay, replace soil to your shelves, okay? You can the purchase the soil and mix up the soil and vermiculite, replace to the wooden boxes. I told you, the height of the wooden boxes is four centimeters, yes? Yes. If you are going to the replace the soil to the shelves, okay, you can, you can raise the height of the wooden boxes to 40 centimeters, okay? And you can easily in your, in, on your shelves replace to soil in your, the wooden boxes and keep the bulbs in your greenhouse with the soil in the wooden boxes. Okay. These are the, the summary story of the wooden boxes uh, about the growing saffron indoors. But if you, for example, in the summer, you are involved with the summer one time, professor, just one time we have harvesting. There are numerous questions. How many times we can harvest? It is very important. Spend is the national period. For example, in summer, professor, for example, in mind, Think with yourself, okay, Ardalan told me with 17 centigrade. In summer, you cannot reach to the flowers, okay? In the summer, the bulbs should spend the summer periods, the storing. After that, you can decrease. In summer, do not try, for example, in summer, okay? Honestly, do not try with the hormone, for example, the uh, cytokine, to the other hormone that help you for awaking the bulbs. Do not try in the summer giving flowering of the bulbs because the bulbs should two months after summer spend the growth period, okay? We need to growth period. In the autumn, in the three months of the autumn, the best time for decreasing temperature and giving flowers, okay? In October, October in the, like Iran, like Europe, but I do not, I do not. In Australia and Northern Hemisphere is completely different, this uh, story, you know? If question, please ask your question, Professor. Okay, you're done? Tell me, okay. Okay. Uh, I think I missed the height of, what is this? You explain this. Wait, what, man? There's two rows of shelves, right? Two rows of shelves. You said so, right? I do not know the height between those two rows. You know, for example, let me show you. This is two rows of shelves, yes? Yes. The between two row, between two row is one meter. Two rows of the. What I meant was this. This is a shelf, right? Yes. Bottom top. 70 centimeters, 70 right. centimeters. 
70. The between two fellows is 70 centimeters. The first fellow of the ground, the first fellow of the fellow, the first fellow is 20 centimeters. And the between distance between fellow is 70 centimeters. Do you know why? Because you can easily harvest the saffron because you should work in the between the shelves, you know, between two fellow of shelves, you need to distance and a space that you can easily work, 70 centimeters. Do you cover the top? Like from here, 20 centimeters, correct? Okay, for 20, 20 centimeters. 70, 20 centimeters. And the other one do 70? Yes, yeah, 70 centimeters. Got it. And another thing, why you are you keeping those barbs in the soil? Are they replicated? I mean, the production happens? Okay, you know, for example, for soil, we can easily get fertilizer. For example, you know, let me, it is good question. After the harvesting, during summer, I told you, and before flowering, or during autumn, we do not need any fertilizer, okay? Right. Soils has the specifications that help you for giving fertilizer and easily absorb, you know? We have two fertilizer program. After harvesting, we should give the bulbs, we need NPK, nitrogen, phosphor, potassium, or Yaramila complex, or Delphar. There are common names that they are in market. NPK, nitrogen, phosphor, pot nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, immediately after harvesting the flowers. In, in the, the soil. soil. And what's, what's the ratio of them? What's the ratio? Okay. For example, two kilograms, two kilograms of NPK, you should in install in the 2,000 liters. Two kilograms two kilograms of the NPK or Delphar, you should solve, solve in 2000 liters. But the amount of the ratio, okay? This is, for example, in seven, for example, in uh, one hectare, you know, you should calculate for outdoor. For example, in, for example, in the 100 square meters, we can keep 6,000 kilogram or 7,000 kilogram, yes? Okay. In the traditional, in the traditional or outdoor, we can also cultivate the 7,000 kilogram of bulbs, yes? Therefore, 100 square meters, 100 square meters is equal with one hectare outdoor. In one hectare, we give, for example, the humic acid three liters, okay? three liters, humic acid. NPK, for example, we give five kilograms, okay? You should calculate for five kilograms, okay, for 6,000 6, kilograms of the bulk, we need to five kilograms of the NPK, okay? If you have 3,000 kilograms of bulbs or 4,000 kilograms of bulbs, it is, for example, two kilograms of the NPK enough, okay? You should calculate in the hectares. Okay. Yes, but you should, you know, for example, in the soil, in, in Iran, we do not calculate exactly. We provide the stock, we provide the mix of the NPK and gives the soil, for example, during three hours, during four hours, that's finished, okay? The okay. mix of the soil, the mix of the water and the NPK is so important, the measuring Okay, for example, we have the tank, we have the tank 3000 kilogram or the pan with 2000 liters. For example, for first stage, if we have the 6000 kilogram of bulb, we provide 2000 liters with, for example, two kilograms of the NPK. Okay. So, okay, thank you. Uh, what I let, no. let me, okay, but ask you. Wait, no, go ahead, please. Because you, you spoke about, uh, about the fertilizer, are so important. I should say you, uh, you need to NPK, humic acid, and Acadian seaweed, Acadian seaweed in the first stage, immediately after harvesting the flowers, okay? Or 
at the beginning of the winter, Acadian seaweed, Acadian NPK, humic acid at the first step, okay? Three months later, or at the end of winter, okay? You need to, you need to trace element. Trace element and the fertilizer that has, that have the sulfurous. Sulfurous and trace element. Sulfurous help you for preventing all kinds of diseases. And at the end of winter, because the bulbs gradually, gradually eliminate, elim gradually lost its leaves, gradually lost its roots. And we need to, because and bulbs very sensitive to diseases, mice. And sulfurous helps you for preventing because the sulfurous fertilizer preventing to all kinds of diseases and eliminate the majority of diseases, sulfurous, you know? Got it. So my next picture, this is with the last question. Uh, the bulb price is quite high. So it is important for us to repeat this process to harvest, I mean, to maximize the, the profit, right? Each bulb, how many times we can harvest? Or if we have to buy bulb every season, or can we multiply bulb in the soil so that we don't need to buy those bulbs? Okay. Let, let me bear in mind, and during about the two weeks, okay? Two weeks, we have harvesting. For example, because the saffron is, we can dry, you know. This is unlike the other crops, for example, the mushroom that we cannot dry. You can keep the saffron for one year, for two years, for example. You know, you shouldn't think, for example, the one more time, for example, two more time, in more time, for example, how many times. For example, it depending in your, for example, in the uh, October, during two weeks, okay? You can harvest of the saffron. Yes, question. Your question is, I'm going to repeat and twice instead of one time. Year. In the following year. So yes. let's say we followed what you said and we harvest it. Then what about the following year? Can we do it in a row for several years? Oh, yes, it is very good. I Okay, every bulb is the mother bulb, okay? You should once time purchase the bulb, okay? And the bulbs stay with you for eight years. But years. not, but professor, is gradually appear, disappear after one year, okay? And the daughter bulbs gradually appear, okay? Gradually appear and this are. In other words, you sh it is enough, you should once time purchase the bulbs and the bulbs themselves propagate, okay? For example, one and a half time, one year to one year to one year, okay? It is enough once time. You once time purchase the bulbs, okay? For example, for 60 square meters, you purchase the bulb, 4,000 kilograms of bulbs, okay? For next year, it doesn't need to purchase another piece because the bulbs propagate also provide to other farm for you, okay? This bulb has a one year old, okay? This is one year old. After one year, disappear and eliminate bulbs, the daughter bulb will be appear one and a half times, okay? For example, if you have 4,000 kilogram of bulb, in the second year, you have 6,000 kilogram of bulb. In the next year, also you have 8,000 kilogram of bulb. In the second year, repeat this, Period, okay? That's but the mother bulbs, okay. Professor Jung is, says it is very important the first time in purchasing time. You know, you shouldn't, this is for example, this is the vesting money. You should, you should choose the bulbs with over 40 gram. Even for example, 
two dollars is twenty dollars. You know, you shouldn't scare of the spending money for bulbs. Okay, choose, choose the biggest bulbs over thirty grams. Assurance your quality. Assurance your yell. Heavy, just heavy. You know, you do not have the diseases. You do not have the bit. With choosing the heavy bulb over 30 grams, over 40 grams, you do not have any diseases, any mites, and you will have in the for next year. You will have the heavy bulbs. The daughter bulbs are heavy. For example, when the parents are heavy, their children are heavy. Okay. When right. you one time, you one time spend a lot of money, or you will see it's the results in the next year or another next year. Okay. So time is up. Uh, so okay. far, you gave us a very precious experience you have. We deeply appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And it was such a pleasure to have you here. And uh, thank you. if you have any my questions, pleasure too. we will Bye. contact you personally. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, have a beautiful day. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Could you give us host, please? She yes, yes. Please help us. Okay, okay. Please record and help us and send me. Okay, thanks.